The Honest Look series is back. It's time to take an honest look at the Texas A&M Aggies. We talked about it in our live show the other day. To me, Texas A&M is in the exact same position as a young Peter Parker. With great power comes great responsibility. That's what Texas A&M has earned over the last couple of years on the recruiting trail. Since 2019, they have not had a recruiting class outside of the top 10. With great recruiting comes great responsibility. With great recruiting comes great expectations. And to this point, that has not been lived up to. That's why there's frustration. Nay, that's why there is extra pressure right now on Jimbo Fisher and this Aggie program. The good people in College Station, they've put a lot into it. The resources are there. Kyle Field is a palace. The roster, on paper, it's there. A lot of guys with a lot of stars next to their name. I understand there's been exodus with the portal. Even so, this is a roster that is in a spot where they can be competitive and get a little bit closer to living up to the billing that was assigned to them when they got to campus. If you're not yet subscribed, would love to have you at the party. College football content every single day. Got a live show for you Tuesday. Got a live show Thursday. Come hang out. Get in the live chat. We'll get after it. We appreciate you rocking with us in advance. Also, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at JD Piccolo. Want to hear from y'all. It's a great medium for us to interact and have a back and forth when we're not live on air. So we appreciate you in advance, like I already mentioned. Let me paint the scenario for you. Imagine being so good at something that you are hired for a lot of money to come and do that individual thing for your profession and oversee the entire operation of something, oversee an entire team. And as time wears on, the one thing that you were hired for or one of the special skills, one of the special differentiating skills that you were hired for to oversee this team, it's, it's the Achilles heel. It's the reason why you're not able to lead this team to being successful. And so very publicly, you make a switch. That's what's been happening with Jimbo Fisher. Jimbo Fisher was applauded for a long time for his play calling and was brought to Texas A&M and made the head coach for a ton of money because of his play calling prowess and what he's done with quarterbacks and what he did at Florida State and winning a national championship with Jameis Winston. And now we're sitting here saying, this offense has got to change. The philosophy has got to change. And it wasn't just people like me behind the mic. Everybody had Twitter fingers. They were adding Texas A&M, adding Jimbo Fisher. Like That was the reality of what we were living in as Texas A&M underachieved in the 2022 season. It's a lot of pressure on you. That's a lot of external criticism coming at you. That's tough, man. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your job is. It is tough to have that kind of external criticism over something that for the longest time had been perceived to be your strength. Now, I would applaud Jimbo Fisher for this, though. Whether it was his decision or not, a lot of people are saying, ah, the administration made him do it. I don't care. For Jimbo Fisher to make a hire and to bring in an offensive coordinator to do the job, to do the thing that he was originally brought there to do, I think it is a, a very positive sign for Aggie fans. It shows self-awareness. It shows humility. It shows that Jimbo Fisher is not going to let his pride get in the way of this team ultimately being successful. Now, it still has to work. Bobby Petrino, regardless of what you want to talk about with him personally, has a solid track record as an offensive coordinator goes. So in theory, that should be something that could fix this thing and, and get it headed the right direction to get closer to what is expected. But like I said, that is the sign of solid leadership. And we can go back and forth all day about who told who to do what, but at the end of the day, Jimbo Fisher decided for the betterment of his football team, he would bring in somebody else to do the job that he was brought there to do in some respects. Now, obviously, Jimbo Fisher is still the head coach, but I'm telling you, that is it's a blow to your pride. I have... A lot of respect for Jimbo Fisher for making that move. So here's the good news. We've talked a lot about, well, they've underachieved, they've done this, they've done that. This is not a dunk on Texas A&M video. Quite the opposite, actually. Because when I look at this roster, it's not a talent issue. It's not a matter of the cupboard being bare. It's one thing to be hungry and to have nothing to eat. Open the fridge, nothing there. Too bad. That's not the reality in College Station. The reality in College Station is you open the fridge, you got a ton of ingredients, you just haven't put them together properly to enjoy the fruits of your labor. 
ton of ton of recruiting class. Like I said, since 2019, they haven't finished outside the top 10. I know the portal's harsh. It's not that harsh. It's not that harsh to where you can't be successful with all the talent you have. The key, though, is following the recipe. Now, Texas A&M will have a new recipe to go with the ingredients. And I think there's a really good opportunity for them to be able to eat a little bit more in 2023. I said it on the live show. I believe right around eight wins would be what you would expect and what would, I think, turn the volume down a little bit on the naysayers and the pressure on Jimbo Fisher. But the cupboard is not bare. All it takes is a couple of recipes, and then you're eating good to get the ingredients, the four-star and five-star ingredients that you have in-house to be successful. So I root for Jimbo Fisher. I root for A&M to be able to get it back on track. Would love to see them make some noise in the SEC. But for, but for us, that's the honest look at the Texas A&M Aggies. Eventually, we'll settle up between the white lines. We'll do a pulse of the program as we get closer and closer to the season. We'll keep an eye on the spring ball with what's going on down there in College Station. But I truly believe there's still a lot of cause for optimism in the 2023 season. This has been the Hard Count Nick Break Lifting Heavy. This is y'all's show, the people's program. Every single thing that you and I know and love about this beautiful game, we get to cover it every single day. College football, you and I both know it. There's no such thing as an offseason. They play games for one portion of the year, but there's always something happening within this glorious game. We got content every single day, so we appreciate y'all for that and for allowing us to have content every single day, for consuming that content. Comment below, hit me on Twitter and Instagram at Jody Pakel to let me more, excuse me, let me know more of what you want to see. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We're going to keep the party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.